John Williams, I'm Senior Furniture Conservator at the Smithsonian Museum Conservation Institute. In general, conservation is a desire to preserve uh, artifacts, trying to make sure that they're as robust as possible for as long a period of time without destroying their fundamental character so that people in the future can examine them and glean information from them still, though it's some years down the road. One of the issues of furniture conservation is that furniture is by definition almost always a utilitarian object. It, it bore the weight of its own, its own structure. Sometimes people sit in it, they use it on, on, uh, for dining or writing or whatever. And very often furniture, even historic furniture, is continued, has continued to provide a utilitarian function. And so we have to balance both the preservation and presentation, often aesthetically, with the utilitarian function that has to be maintained and continued. You know, I started out in, in the furniture repair trades about 40 years ago, and as I became more and more technically um, aware of what furniture was and how it was made and how it degrades, that sort of was a natural lineage into more and more, uh, well, rarefied is the wrong word, but a whole different context for furniture preservation and that inevitably led me into looking at originally uh, private collectors who were very careful custodians of their objects and then eventually into, into the museum world where custodianship is the whole point of the enterprise. So I find it to be a fascinating uh, exercise in decision making and in learning and in curiosity and all those things are sort of what make me tick. Well, I would say the thing that I find most resonating with me is that it requires a great deal of fairly aggressive curiosity. You have to be interested in something. You have to be willing to find out about things. You have to be willing to say, I don't know something and I want to learn it. And for me, that is, if you would describe a job that says your job is to be curious, that's the job for me. And that's why I like doing what I do because I practically get paid to be curious. Well, the current project that has me really captivated is the study and replication of the chairs of Samuel Gregg. He was a Boston chairmaker in the early part of the 19th century, somewhere around 1810. And we don't know an awful lot about him other than what we can see from his artifacts. And what is clear to me is he was a virtuoso of wood building. He was, he was really testing the limits of what you can accomplish with wood. He created very sinuous curvilinear forms and chairs, uh, uh, chairs in particular, uh, very glorious decorative finishes. Um, and it's, it's been a, a real curiosity of mine, an interest of mine for decades. And I finally, at this point in my career, got the ch opportunity to move forward with some of this research and replicating uh, one of his chairs. One of the things about, about Greg's virtuosity is that he was thinning, making thin strips and then bending them to very, uh, very demanding shapes because even though these are very delicate looking chairs, they only weigh about seven pounds a piece, they still were expected to hold up a full-sized adult. And, and I've never sat in a real Greg chair, but I've sat in my replica, and it's exceedingly comfortable and exceedingly strong. So something about, something about him allowed him to be some sort of an engineering savant when it comes to making wood objects. Mm -hmm.